Grand rising and bright blessings to all of my pedal patrons here on Monday, April 24th, 2023, which makes it an eight universal numerological day. And this is another time where the universe proves how this energy lines up. So you think about number eight and you think about the infinity symbol, right? Or continuity is a way that other people like to sit down and think about it. Today, it's going to prove itself to show you where things need to take place from your inner wisdom, ego, right? Because we all have ego. We never kill the ego. We integrate the ego. But our ego self blending in with the needs of humanity and more so for our desire for peace. So a lot of that comes with inner wisdom. And a lot of people have got a lot of third eye and a lot of crown activity popping off these past couple of days. Here's what's going on from the planetary uh, situation. We woke up with the moon in Gemini. Um, having this sexy sextile with Jupiter in Aries again. That is a perfect conver uh, combination of energies when it comes to all things second house. Of course, we're in Taurus season. Anytime that combination comes up, though, it's so juicy. But what we would have had then with that energy of second house finance and needs and all those different types of things, having an immediate square after that with Neptune and Pisces. So you have to remember that's generational type of a push between 515 and 815 in the morning. And it goes, mm, this is less about me. And it's more about the universe or the collective, right? Then we get to the energy um, we're going to be jumping into, which is going to be between 12 and 3, depending upon the coast. And the moon is going to enter into the energy of Cancer, which is fourth house. It's friendship. It's nurturing energy. But it's less about ourselves as much as it is going to be for other people. So we're going to be in that energy for about another hour and a half before we have a quincunx with Pluto in Aquarius. So quincunxes are not necessarily fun because it's mom and dad forcing two kids into the room and somebody has to come out apologizing first. So <laughs> there's going to be this need to allow this energy of the surface stuff that comes up to be sort of balanced out that way. And then we're going to be in that all the way into this evening. So between 9 p.m. and like about uh, 10 p.m., we have a harmonious and sexy sextile with the sun in Taurus, which is going to force a little bit more energy about our attributes coming forward. But also a beautiful trine with um, Saturn in Pisces, which is going to lower any different restrictions about where we need to make some adjustments, if anything at all. So today is about your health, but it's also the health of the community, the collective. And so the energy of the day or the mantra is going to be, I release my need to be perfect. And I offer my love and energy to humanity today. So that's what I have for you guys. It's actually really, really good. It's necessary. Many blessings. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.